What's up guys, it's Jordan here and welcome back to a brand new Rainbow Six Siege video today talking about patch 4.1. Before this video starts, I just want to say that I've got a brand new microphone, a proper Blue Yeti now. I am so happy with it, it's untrue. However, I haven't quite figured it out yet, it still doesn't sound right. So I apologise if there's a couple of weird sounding things, every now and again you will hear some pops and I think it's a little bit of static every now and again. So once again, I apologise. Before this, I've been using a bog standard Razer Kraken Pro crappy mic that just literally was built into my headset. So this is my first time using a proper a microphone so I'm still getting used to it. Anyway guys, we're going to hop straight into this video because there's a couple of things coming in patch 4.1 that I'd really like to talk about. It's not a major patch and it doesn't add anything super exciting, but some well needed changes and fixes. So the first fix that's coming and the one that everyone knew would be happening is the Pulse rework. Pulse is being reworked again or nerfed shall we say because he's a little bit too strong at the moment. Currently in patch 4.0 he is practically able to keep real time tabs on people who are up to 13 meters away from him. On top of that he can also switch between his main weapon and his heartbeat detector very easily which means he's able to get some very easy wallbang kills at the moment. So to counter all of this out, Ubisoft have decreased his detection range from 13 meters to 9 meters, meaning that if you're an attacker, it is a lot easier to stay away from the walls, meaning you won't get detected by Pulse, whereas at the moment it's near impossible to get near the objective room without being detected by Pulse's heartbeat sensor. As well as this, they're also doubling the time it takes for Pulse to switch between his heartbeat sensor and his weapon, meaning that if he sees someone through a wall, it's going to take him a little bit longer to actually pull out his gun and shoot through the wall. This means if you're an attacker and you hear Pulse pulling out his heartbeat sensor, you have more of a chance to get away before he can shoot you through the wall. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the changes they're making to Pulse. I don't think they've nerfed him too hard to the point where he's going to be useless, but I think they have nerfed him to a respectable level where he's going to be very viable, but not too strong. The second thing coming in patch 4.1 is the rebalance of the semi-auto shotguns, which personally I think is very overdue. Some of the semi-automatic shotguns have been extremely powerful for a long time. Two examples of this are Frost and Valkyrie. Both of their shotguns are incredible at long distance shooting. They're practically sniper rifles, they do some crazy damage, and I've seen some pretty ridiculous kills from them. The idea of this type of shotgun is that when you get close up they do incredible damage but at distance they're practically useless. However the shotguns in Siege kind of defy this rule and they just work at any range. So the first thing they're doing to change shotguns is reducing the range at which they're effective by between 25 and 30 percent. This may sound like a lot but in reality this is probably going to make them about right for what a shotgun should be like. The second thing they're tweaking with shotguns is the bullet dispersion. Both ADS and hipfire will see the dispersion of bullets increase by about 10 percent and if you don't know what this means it's basically the area of which the bullets impact. So if you shoot at a wall, think of a circle, the dispersion is the circle that the bullets create. So for instance, if you have a target in front of you and you are right point blank with them, if you shoot them, every single pellet should hit the target because you're point blank. Whereas if you are say 100 meters away from the target, if you try to shoot them, the dispersion of bullets should be a wider circle around them, meaning the less bullets will actually hit the target, which again is going to be a big factor in reducing the accuracy of shotgun at long range. Currently shotguns have a really small dispersion rate, meaning that if you shoot a target all the way at the other end of the hallway, you're still going to have a pretty accurate pinpoint of where the bullets are going to hit. Whereas after this patch, if you try to shoot someone down a hallway, you're going to have less chance of actually hitting the target. So those are the two major features that are coming in patch 4.1. Now I'm going to go over a few of the smaller features, which I think stand out to me. So this won't include everything that's being introduced, but just some key points that I think stand out the most. The first one is the speed at which shield users are able to move. Basically in season three, the movement of shield users was reduced massively so they were a lot slower. Whereas they've now said that they believe that they're a little bit too slow and they're going to go back to the season 2 speed meaning if you play shield a lot you're going to be happy to know that you'll be able to move a lot quicker and navigate the map easier. There will also be a slight UI change coming this patch. Basically at the top if someone dies as you guys may know a little red X will appear through a slightly transparent box to indicate that that person is dead in their icon. They are now changing it so the icon is a little bit more transparent but the X is more prominent. Not a major feature but just makes it more clear as to who's dead and who's not dead. As usual, we also have a couple of bug fixes coming in. Some of the big ones include the exo charges not actually breaching through the reinforced barriers. That's when they detonate, but they don't actually break the barrier, they just cause an explosion. A really annoying one considering how precious exo charges can be. They're also fixing the bug of thermites charges being able to be shot through barriers, reinforced walls that is. That's a really annoying one if you place a charge on a reinforced wall and someone actually shoots through the wall and manages to somehow destroy it. So it's good to see that's being fixed. They're also fixing the issue of some pistols having double recoil. I've actually experienced this one myself and it's really annoying, especially when you're out of ammo on your primary gun and you switch to your secondary, only to find that it doesn't aim for shit. 
And finally, we have several more fixes coming to the walls. There's been a couple of glitches where you can shoot through walls without damaging it. You can see through walls and you can also see people's names through reinforced walls. So this is a couple of serious issues which have been breaking the game for a while. They weren't exactly common bugs, but they were ones that were there nonetheless. People have reported them. I've never had them happen to myself, but it's good to see that they're being fixed because especially in a ranked match, this could really cause problems, especially if you can see enemies through the wall because it gives you a really good idea on where they are without actually having to use a drone. So all in all, it's definitely a good patch. It's not a massively exciting one, but definitely some well needed features and fixes coming in. If you guys want to read the full patch notes, I will put them in the description as always. If you guys enjoyed this video, then do make sure to smack that like button. I make loads of Siege content, so make sure to stick around for some more awesome stuff. Hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll catch you in the next one. Feel our eyes touch, fires in your iris on divine stuff Making mad pictures in confinement Pinnacles align and force horizons Magic in the flames of your mindset You can feel the vibe get crazy when your eyes get lazy Naked in the flames, sucking on your minuscule pictures of